Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Tassel, and this is the hour when we regret doing this. <laughs> I don't. Not for a minute. <laughs> you don't regret? I don't regret. I think yourself. that's right. I want to check on a Alice has fallen out of her chair now, Steve. She's fine. I She's, hope. Fine. She's fine. She's fine. You keep saying that. But, I uh, saw her moving everybody... a minute ago. Oh, did you see her She's moving? She's fine. Okay, good. She was moving. Well, that's great. Plus, so, the ambulance well, just got there. Everything's fine. The analysts just got there. Great. As long as it's not COVID, we're good. So uh, welcome, everybody, on the West Coast. I'm Brad Tassel. And, I've, you know, I, I was sitting during the break contemplating about what I used to do for a living, which was, was do comedy on cruise ships. And I used to walk around the cruise ship. I was, I mean, I did 18 years, almost 17 years working cruise ships mostly. And I would marvel every time I was still there. Because uh, I got fired a lot from other cruise lines uh, for jokes like I got fired from Oceana. Uh, I was doing a show one time and it was a lot of 90 year olds and I was doing the show and it was in a beautiful theater because these are the most beautiful ships, Oceana. And there was a 90 some year old man sitting right up front, him and his walker right up front. And I did this joke and it's the dirtiest joke I ever did <laughs> on an Oceana cruise ship. And it was the fact that I talk about having kids and that I think you know, being a father is the most important thing you can do in your life. And that when you have kids as a man, as a father, you have to learn things you never knew you'd have to learn. And the whole crowd is just clapping. And I said, it is so beautiful. I learned in the first year of having a baby, a breast pump will not enlarge any part of your body. <laughs> well, at that exact moment, the 90-year-old man up front, and I brought a chair in to do this so you could see me, he went, Nope! Nope! N no! And he stood up real slow and he grabbed his walker and he goes, I am not listening to this pathetic, dirty garbage. And it took him eight minutes to get out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> As he went, and I just stood there and the entire crowd was just trying to hold back from laughing so loud. And I could, and he just, and I'm not going to, and I'm going to call the captain, and I'm going to call the cruise line. And when he left the room, all I said was, but dad, it wasn't my fault. And, uh, and so, but, and that, I was not actually fired on that one. I was fired for a different joke, actually. But, uh, but I miss, I, I don't know, I, I, I hope I get to go back some. I don't want to go back a ton. We were talking about traveling last hour. I love the groups that I see on these ships. I was on a ship out of Texas, and Alice, you're fine. How are you? You doing good? Yeah. I want to say okay, good, good. You got a little snooze there, and I feel good for you. Yes, so, I do. <laughs> have, Alice, have you ever been on a cruise? No, I have not. Well, I really do enjoy it. I enjoy the people and the groups. I was on a cruise out of Texas. We had 75 rodeo cowboys on the ship uh, and 80 gynecologists. There were stirrups everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's I'm good... not sitting still for this. I'm, I'm not, leaving. I'm not listening I'm to this garbage. This dirty, be... pathetic. Donna, I'm going to go see Alice. Yeah, I'm going to go see Alice. See Alice, the... get it? Yeah. See Alice? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna, you need... At this point, you might need see Alice. Anyway, uh, and I also, <laughs> one more thing about cruises, then I'll do the jokes I wrote for this show that I don't have a lot of faith in. Not a lot of faith in this show. So, uh, uh, and I forgot the, oh, sometimes though, uh, and we'll see this, I think on, when we talk to Gary is the ship gets really rocky and I was on a ship one time and it went 30 degrees to the side Whoa. and the entire pool emptied into the ocean. I mean, Whoa. right in front of us, the entire pool and people were literally screaming. You could hear them around the ship. You could see it on TV, just the water flying out of this pool and I remember the captain came on. It was like, bong, bong, bong. He goes, oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain is speaking from the navigation of the bridge. The pool is closed. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that's how helpful they are on the carnival. So, uh, and by the way, so now here's the thing. Today, did you all see this? Vaccines are rolling out so slowly, it is going to take 10 years to inoculate enough people to make a difference. Did anybody see that? No. That is how slow they're coming out. And in response, Trump said, 
I hit a 46 on the back nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say 46. A perfect score. 46. <laughs> 46. 40. I'm 46. sorry. I'm excited yeah, about Biden. Yeah. We need play. I did that because we need to get to 46. So anyway, <laughs> by the way, and this isn't necessarily a joke. It's just an observation. But then that's mostly what my jokes are. Uh, the problem with the vaccine rollout is that the states are fighting over who's first who's second, et cetera, which is just oh, yeah. stupid. People want the vaccine. We should give it to people as fast as possible. You know, the first week, of course, was tough because people had to get by the GOP congressmen clawing their way past cancer <laughs> patients to get theirs. <laughs> but here's what I say we should have done. The hospitals get the vaccines. The hospital opens at 8 a.m., at 7 a.m., the entire staff of the hospital gets the vaccine. At 8 a.m., anybody in line with a mask six feet apart comes through and gets the vaccine, right? I right. mean, by the way, that is also the same process that they use to get a degree from Trump University. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So anyway, by the way... Uh, Two of the bits that I did this year were, were some of my favorite. I'm not sure if they were that funny, but uh, mm -hmm. they were my two of my favorite bits. So, Steve, do you want to play those? I do, and I think they're very funny. Uh, mm -hmm. Public service announcement, this show, uh, and this is basically serious. Uh, COVID makes you think a lot about how different people react to pathogens and bites and viruses and bacteria. I personally have never really had trouble I, I run in the woods every day, basically, and I destroy like 10 spider webs. And whenever I stop, there's at least three spiders hanging from me, swinging off my back saying, do another lap, fat boy. Um, <laughs> I, I get ticks and they and they spit me out and jump off. When I get a mosquito bite, <laughs> when a mosquito bites me, it lasts maybe 10 minutes and their babies die. So I never have a problem and I've always been good. Now, my wife is a different story. She could get chiggers from the Best Buy. Uh, <laughs> so what I want to talk about is my wife was recently trimming a bush. And uh, now a bush, sicko. Okay, stop with the look. A bush. Okay. <laughs> and something landed on her leg. And just its presence caused a three-week bruise. I mean, oh, wow. she has to deal with a lot more. Like, I had a spider crawl in my mouth once and bite my lip. And the swelling was gone before I pooped Charlotte out. So I'm just saying. Um, really? So I rarely get affected. But my see, but my wife needs a tetanus shot if she meets a person named Rusty. So, uh, <laughs> and my daughter might be taking after my wife because she took a research trip to Costa Rica and she got a case of salmonella so badly the CDC called and asked her if she was craving that. <laughs> uh, so and I and, and really one more for me I had 30 leeches on my leg once after putting in a dock in a lake and I asked them to leave and they did <laughs> the point is we are all different and vulnerable people benefit so much from vaccines and staying safe I feel like if I brought home COVID I wouldn't know it until my wife ran a ventilator so I'm not going to bring it home so if right. you're out there listening, stop the conspiracies, listen to real science, wear the mask, get a vaccine when it's ready. Nobody is chipping you, and we can all get back to hating each other in public together. Okay. That's yeah. right. yeah. Public address. Wow, one more. No. One lady said that her husband recently left her for a 29-year-old a woman. And we were, because I was doing, I talk about marriage a little bit, and I did that joke and said that's not me. And I, I never understand that concept. There is no way I would ever do that. A, a younger woman, look, I'm telling you right now, my wife is just now at the back end of menopause. You think I want to go through that again with someone else? <laughs> <laughs> not a chance in hell. No way. I am done. I am done tiptoeing around the house. And it's all over. <laughs> My thermostat is not set at Arctic blast every night. <laughs> I finally got back a third of the bed that I had in the beginning. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> no way I want a younger woman. I'm sticking baby. That's all there is to it. Oh, thank you for the applause on that one. <laughs>